All right, Shalom. First, I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Racha Kodash. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, and peace and blessings to the elect. As you can see in the title, <clears throat> the question is, can you repent from the mark of the beast? Okay, and I'm gonna pull a couple of scriptures. Okay, which is gonna which is gonna then show you that you cannot you cannot repent from taking the mark of the beast. You can't you can't take the take the take the mark and then say oh no 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 I don't want it no more so I re no 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 once you once you get that mark that's it it's over <clears throat> we can agree on that and with that being said now we get into what the mark is you know because according to the scriptures you know if you can't if if whoever takes that mark is going to get that that judgment okay is going to get that that uh uh fire and brimstone they're going to get they're going to get burnt in the presence of the Lord and his angels, then according to people who say that the mark is Christianity and there's all these different things, then that means all our assets should be burnt, you know? Because before brothers came into this truth, I know damn well a whole lot of brothers were into Christianity, you know? So that means that we done already taken the mark, right? Since Christianity is the mark of the beast, then we should all have taken the mark already, you know? I'm pretty sure you have you have elders who were who were who were into Christianity, all right, or raised in the church, you know, or had or, or at some point had something to do with it. So then that means that must mean that they have the mark of the beast too, right? <clears throat> and being that you can't repent from the mark, that means that we we all gonna get that 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 second death, huh? So that must mean that those who learn from the elders, all right, regardless of of what you teach now, you you, you learn from men who who had already taken the mark of the beast, right? You know, according to this retarded logic that the mark of the beast is Christianity, that, that's 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 what would make sense, huh? So let's read this real quick. This is Revelation chapter 14, <clears throat> verse 9. All right, this is going to the judgment, all right, of taking that, 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 that mark. It says, And the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If any man worship the beast and his image and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand, all right, now, keep in mind that, that, that mark being Christianity, all right, <clears throat> once you receive it, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the Most High, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the Lamb. So that must, that must mean that <clears throat> any of us who were ever in Christianity at some point, this is our judgment. That must mean that we're not men of the Lord. The Spirit of the Lord is not dealing with us. So, and for those of you who 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 learned the name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, all right, the Heavenly Father and His Son, you know, from the elders, and you you out here saying the mark of the beast is Christianity, you then you shouldn't be teaching in that name because you learned that name from men who already took the mark of the beast, right? You see how you see how retarded this logic is. <clears throat> That must mean that this is our judgment. That must mean that anybody who 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 who, who uh, uh was into Christianity already has the mark. So what? Muslims, <coughs> Muslims and Buddhists and 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 all them they're the ones who are gonna be on the chariots, right? Because the Most High can't possibly be dealing with us if we already took that mark. You know, <laughs> it shows it shows you, man. Look, people people don't even read the scriptures, man. If you're going to come up with some bugged out doctrine, at least read the scriptures and see what the scriptures say. All right. It's very clear. It says, um, and the smoke of their torment ascended up forever and ever. And they have no rest day nor night who worship the beast and his image and whosoever receiveth the, the mark of his name. So this is going to be, this is going to be our judgment then. <coughs> you know, so that means we're not getting on them chariots. You know, all the work that we're putting in, waking up all these different people upon uh, uh, around the, uh, the world, you know, the spirit of the Lord having different different brothers, you know, what I mean, being woken up in different parts of the world to teach the, the, the correct doctrine. Well, it's, it's all for naught because we're not going to make we're not going to make it on the chariots. Right. <clears throat> Next precept. This is Revelation chapter 20, verse four. Uh, and I only got I only got like two more. It's not going to be a long video. It says, And I saw thrones, <clears throat> and they that sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Yahweh Shai. 
and for the word of the Most High, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads or in their hands, and they lived and reigned with Hamashiach a thousand years. So now let me ask you, <clears throat> since Christianity was, was invented or quote-unquote created, from that time all the way until now, who or what what people all right were beheaded for for refusing Christianity, for 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 not not uh, 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 conforming all right to Christianity and standing firm to the word of of, of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, you know, where 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 are they? And 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 so you telling me from from because because when Christianity came into place, that must have been the hour of temptation. And that hour that that's been a pretty long hour. Then if we still alive now, you know. <clears throat> and we pushing this word since 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 the creation of Christianity, which is the mark of the beast, right? That should have been the hour of temptation. We should have tried the whole world. So wait, why hasn't Yahushua come back and 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 delivered those that refuse Christianity? You know, <clears throat> it doesn't make sense. It does not make sense because how the hell are you gonna receive a? <laughs> how, okay, so how does Christianity uh, 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 go inside your hand? Oh well, it's 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 you you actually contributing to it, and you 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 know what I mean you 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 teaching Christianity. That's that's your hand. It works. Madness, madness. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. All right, because the word there is karagma. You insert when you see you literally see the videos of people going to tattoo shops or wherever they go, and it gets inserted into their hand. You know, you have even the engineers. Who engineered this 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 uh, uh 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 this chip? You know, you had a dude who came out and said it. That's the mark of the beast. He he read in Revelation. <clears throat> All right, so this is Revelation chapter three, verse ten. <clears throat> it says, "Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation, which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth." Once again. This is a prophecy. This is a future prophecy that hasn't come to pass yet. But if the mark of um, the mark of the beast is Christianity, that means that this hour of temptation should have already uh, come to pass. Because you got a whole lot of people in there. You know, you got a, a whole lot of people who at one point were in Christianity. That means that they had at one point taken the mark of the beast, which means that there's no way that we should be able to even be standing here and teaching in the name of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Because the majority of us already have the mark. Since we, we grew up in Christianity, before we came to the truth, we were in Christianity. <clears throat> so majority of us already have the mark then. You know? So how the hell do we have the Holy Spirit? How the hell are we teaching and uh, uh, the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai? Waking up people when, when, when we have the mark. Shouldn't we have already been destroyed? And, 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 and this right here. Okay, who 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 is this then? Who's gonna who's gonna keep the word of the Lord's patience? You, and when did they do it? <clears throat> when when was that hour of temptation that tried the whole world? <clears throat> you know, and and who were the ones that the Lord kept? You know, because this is a future prophecy that hasn't happened yet, and this hour of temptation is talking about the time and when they 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 make that chip mandatory, and people are so desperate. That they're gonna be one hundred percent tempted to take that chip, and that's why the Lord said He's gonna keep us from the hour of temptation. He's gonna give us a spirit to resist it. He's gonna He's gonna uh, uh, protect us. He's gonna provide for us that <clears throat> that we're not gonna need to take that chip. You know, <clears throat> that's what it's talking about. So I close it off with this: this is Revelation chapter thirteen, verse um. I start at verse uh, verse fifteen. It says, "And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, <clears throat> that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed." With that being said, that anybody who's not a, a a Christian or who's not in Christianity should be dead by now, you know, because that means that Muslims are going to be a part of those who did not worship the image of the beast, you know, or take his mark, you know. They, they So they should be killed, 
right? They should have been dead by now. The, the only the only thing that should be going on right now is Christianity. You know, since everybody else who resisted that, you know what I mean, should have been already dead. Since that's the mark of the beast, right? <clears throat> it says, And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in, in, in their right hand or in their foreheads. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark <clears throat> or the name of the beast or the number of his name. <clears throat> now I'm waiting for somebody to please explain to me how... Uh, uh, being a Christian or or not being a Christian is going to prevent you from buying or selling. I, no, check this, right? <clears throat> and the, and the logic the logic is very clear. Christianity is the mark of the beast, right? <clears throat> so Christians are the only ones who have the mark of the beast. That means they're the only ones who are gonna who should be buying and selling right now. You know, we're not Christians anymore. We're really we're 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 um. We're men of the Lord. We we're not into Christianity, so how are we still? I, I could go down to the store and buy buy a sandwich. I could go down to the store and buy whatever I want to buy, <clears throat> you know. And according to the logic that that Christianity is the mark of the beast, I shouldn't be able to do that, because it says then that no man might buy or sell, save except he that had the mark, right? Which is Christianity. So all these other uh, religions who 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 are not Christians who are not in Christianity, they shouldn't be able to buy or sell anything. You know, but they're able to do it. <clears throat> so once again, how does that make sense? It doesn't. You know, it doesn't. Okay. The mark of the beast is the, the RFID microchip, man. The radio frequency identification chip. Which Let me pull up an image of it. All right. <clears throat> let's make it crystal clear. First, let's just let's look up mark of the beast. Look at that. Wait, I don't see Christianity on here. What I see is the chip. Okay, the microchip. Because you have people, even even people in the world who know, all right, that this is the, the mark of the beast, man. <clears throat> and with this, Esau can, he can, he is basically him branding you. You know, with this, he can, he can track you. He can know where you are. You are his property with this mark. All right, with this mark, see inserted. You know, with this, he knows he knows uh, 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 where you are, what you're doing. He can control your life. If if you're into Christianity, you can still do whatever you want to do. Esau can't control you with Christianity, but with this chip, he can if he shuts it down, or if he if he if he has some some um, <clears throat> mechanism in there to uh, 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 harm you if you if you disobey him. <coughs> He can have total control of you. All right, but at the end of the day, you know what it is. Just some, some have not been given. You know, some ha it hasn't been given to. It's not given to all, man. The scriptures say it. All right. <clears throat> Let me just pull it up real quick. And I close it with that. <clears throat> so. What then? Israel hath not obtained that which he seeketh for, but the election hath obtained it, and the rest were blinded. See? They're blinded, but they don't <clears throat> they don't even realize that they're blinded. <coughs> That's the scary part about it. You know? The elect the, the elect got it, man. That's why we're only worried about the elect. Okay? They're the ones who are gonna get it. That's it. Okay? That's it. And that's prophecy, man. It says uh, according as it is written, the Most High hath given them the spirit of slumber, even that they should not see, and ears, oh, so like eyes that they just should not see, and ears that they should not hear, unto this day. All right? <clears throat> <coughs> and that's what it is, man. That's what it is. You know? We know what the mark of the beast is, and we know when it hits. <clears throat> oh, real quick. And that's why a lot of people are going to be leaving these different, um, these different groups with with such huge followings. They're going to be leaving the sincere ones. They're going to see it and they're going to leave those groups because they're going to see that the truth, all right, is is with the men of the Lord, starting with the apostles and elders of Great Millstone on down. The truth is is, is over here, man. <clears throat> all right, <coughs> and they're gonna they're gonna uh, uh, um, they're gonna start. Uh, I was watching the uh, 
the other Yashawamba's video, all right, um, uh, a mass awakening, all right, a lot of these people are going to see, according to right here, uh, Ezekiel 33 and 33, and when this cometh to pass, lo, it will come, then shall they know that a prophet has been among them, and they're going to know who the true prophets of the Lord are, all right, and that's where they're going to come, man, they're going to leave all those, those, those uh, uh, other groups, man, they're going to be like, yo, this is BS, because what you're saying isn't coming to pass, but what they're saying is, I see it coming to pass. And out of fear, a lot of them are gonna are gonna uh, 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 come to the truth. All right, but <clears throat> that was the last precept. Okay, I hope this video is edifying to the elect. All right, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahushai, Bahashim Rachakodash. The mark of the beast is the RFID microchip. Shalom.